हेलो वेलकम टू द सेकंड लैब ऑफ ईएलडी कोर्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन अ थ्री बिट एडर इन वेरी लॉन्ग एंड आल्सो टेस्ट इट ऑन द एफपीजीए बोर्ड ओके सो लेट्स जस्ट लुक एट सम बेसिक थिंग्स दैट आर रिलेटेड टू द सेम सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट अ थ्री बिट एडर बट वी नो दैट वी बेसिकली हैव अ फुल एडर व्हिच एड्स टू बिट and gives us the sum and carry as output so this is a very very basic thing you have a full adder it gives you sum and carry based upon what are the two one bit inputs that you give it okay so the so basically i want to have three bit adder right now so i i will be using three of them right so there are three one bit adders i want a three bit adder so that is why i am going to Uh, use three of them. So this looks very logical, right? So this is one, two, and three. And for binding all of these, so you know that when addition happens, so the carry is uh, is kind of feeded to the next adder, right? If some carry is generated by this adder, it will be feeded to this adder, and then the carry generated by this adder will be feeded to this adder, right? So for this, I will use some wires to connect. all these adders together and i will define it under a single module which is called as top adder right i want to have uh, so basically there is a full adder which has two bit input uh, and a two bit output but i want something that should have a bus of three bits that that would be called a bus a and another bus of three bits that would be called as bus b right and then i want a bus that would be called the sum bus okay so so basically i wanted this to i wanted to wrap all these adders so that is why i did uh, this thing okay so i think this this must be clear and let's now look at one thing that you had previously seen uh, so le let's uh, see it here only so if you want to test this adder what will you do so you will use a test bench right you will uh, write a very log code and that test bench will apply some uh, inputs which would be a and then b the 3 bit a or 3 bit b and then there would be these sums that will be uh, observed by you in the test bench so in the test bench what happens is you have input that is output for your top adder right and whatever you want to feed to the top adder it will be output port for test bench okay so since you have designed one test bench since now so till now so you will be uh, very familiar with uh, what happens in a test bench so when you want to deploy this top adder for example let's let's say that i deploy this top adder module over our fpga board so i have a fpga board i have deployed this top adder here so now this is no more just a simulation right it has become something that is in hardware it is wires and registers right so now when it goes on the fpga you want to test it but now you cannot write a test bench and then uh, just simply say that okay this uh, this is being this signal is being applied to this fpga and this is the output that is coming no there is a hardware and you need some hardware interface so there is there, there has to be some interface between you as a Uh, between you as a test bench writer and and the fpga that is the real hardware right so there is a vio ip so this ip is used for the same thing okay so we need to configure this ip so uh, what happens is this ip has basically the role of uh, communicating between the fpga and 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 your observation so basically you will be observing this sum here and you will be sending the a and b to the fpga fpga board that will be applied to the top adder right this this is very very similar to what you were doing in that test bench okay so voip has a similar kind of properties for example what the thing that is input for the top adder will become output for a voip right and and this sum would become 
output uh, input for the vo ip and this vo means that virtual input output right so this this is the name is very logical in itself now let's see uh, there is some constraints uh, that we would be able to give so i have picked this uh, part from one of the manuals uh, this is available online so uh, there is a xdc file so there is a constraint file that you need to give or you might want to give to the uh, the vo so for for, uh, for that basically you have to uh, use this xdc file right in that there are three types of constraints that you can give so constraints mean a directive for the software okay so this is how it is going to do the synthesis so now you will see that the there is a timing constraint there is a placement constraint there is a synthesis constraint so basically timing constraint might be you might want to specify timing for individual path or maybe you might want to do it for some more number of paths or a bus okay that depends upon the application and then there is a placement constraint so placement also decides many things that how how to place uh, like for example uh, you have a vram you have a dsp you have lut you have flip flops all these things are available on your fpga board uh, but eventually they have to be uh, there has to be a, const a constraint over the placement also right so that might also be given here and synthesis constraint so basically whatever you give uh, as a very low code that becomes a, that that is synthesized on the board right so this synthesis uh, is conversion of your software very low code into the hardware the real hardware that is implemented on the fpga right so this synthesis constraint is some kind of that thing that it it gives the directive that what should be done and what should not be done while doing the synthesis part okay so this this thing is uh, quite important to uh, look at the constraints okay so we will see uh, all the procedure that we need to follow for this lab in in the next video thank you